Hey guys, welcome back to hey Popcorn guys, in Bed. Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Seems Thanks like for around. being here. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Um, okay, welcome to Disaster Days. I don't know. Thunder, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Can we get some thunder, some lightning cracks? Um, okay, so I randomly watched a making of, like, a on YouTube of Twister. Remember Twister? Like, I do remember Twister. That, good it was, movie. It was good. Yeah, it was good. And watching the behind the scenes and stuff, like, made me crave a natural disaster movie. So I put up a poll and there was like 250 comments on it oh, wow. just on the Patreon poll. And there was an idea, why don't you just do the top three and make it a whole week. I love a theme. We love a theme. So. It's like kind of sad, but like it's chill. I know, I know. It, it, <laughs> I'm not making light of natural disasters yeah, yeah. in any way, shape or form, but this one was our winner. It's called Deep Impact, not the title of a sex tape. Oh. <laughs> what? Sorry. Like, that is like oh. the most classic, like that's what she said. Like, I'm like, why is not everyone saying this? Oh but... my gosh. Okay, sorry. Um, got it. Um, <laughs> so it's about, I think, a comet coming towards Earth or something. It's funny because we're... Uh... <laughs> Too embarrassing to admit. What? I literally was just telling you. I was like, we just said like, comets, astrology. I was like, me and my oh, roommate yeah. have been into horoscopes lately. <laughs> Carly is reading me her horoscope. It's actually my monthly funny. horoscope. For me. I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm watching a movie on the comet. Yeah. So I know that's all I know. And, and I now know. I think that. it's the 90s, and I don't even know one actor in it. I haven't looked. So the one main girl kind of looked just from the screen I saw from like the cover. Mm -hmm. It kind of looked like the same girl that was in Twister, but I don't know if it actually Tell is. It. Oh, oh, wait, that's. um. Nope, it's not her. It's not her. Never mind. But she is familiar looking. <sighs> all right, let's okay. get this show on the road. Do Patreon it, here. Like and subscribe here. Bell here. Oh my gosh, it's Tia Leone. She's Madame Secretary. <gasps> I love her. Me too. Okay, this is fun. This okay. is gonna be good. We can't wait. Okay, and Steven Spielberg produced. Okay, what a time. Okay, you so did all the things? Yeah, I did all the things. Okay, here we go. Go team. Oh no, I'm scared because last night I felt so like even more sensitive than I normally am to the violence. Mm. Mm -hmm. And now I'm nervous because I'm about to watch a natural disaster movie. Shoot. I know. I saw this meme. <laughs> it was like, you're glowing. And like one person, like the friend, like you're glowing. And it's like her. She's like, thanks. It's the tears. <laughs> <laughs> I had a weird amount of nightmares as a kid about like twisters, natural disasters, mm -hmm. hurricanes. We literally lived in inland Canada. I don't know. It was always school shootings and natural disasters. Those are my nightmares. I, especially since teaching, I oh. would think about school shootings a lot. Okay, Richmond, Virginia. Star-crossed lovers. Some good work done over here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We know him, too. The bright one. Yeah. He's the dad in something, right? Mm-hmm. Alcor. Good, Peter. Is he in Talladega Good Nights? No, I don't think so. He's not. Will he? Whoa. Well, I don't think so. Oh my gosh. You just said you didn't know. And she is in, she's the best friend I've ever been kissed. Yes, she is. And that's Elijah Wood, Mr. Frodo Baggins. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, sorry. Let's uh, take another picture. We'll send it to Dr. Wolf. Yes, sir. <gasps> just make a big discovery. This is so fun. I love the stars. Really? Mm-hmm. I love stargazing. I didn't know this about you. Yeah. What's your favorite constellation? Mm. Taurus. Ask me mine. Cassiopeia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cute astronomy club. The Mizar. That's what they're like. It's Mizari. He's like, no, it's not. Oh, hello there, little fella. Oh, Wouldn't like NASA desk. be on this? Like, well, if it's coming that fast, probably just sneaking through. Maybe he is NASA. Oh gosh, she's in a hurry. Okay, 
it said like the speed it was traveling and how far away. Then it said like eleven something, but I yeah. couldn't see the unit of time. Or yeah, so I'm like, is maybe it like it's coming to miles Earth? long? Yeah, maybe it, I don't know. I feel like if he's in this big of a race car, like what crashes into Earth, right? Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. No! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. That was way more dramatic than... I need to make it. One year later. Christ, who didn't this guy piss off? No wonder the wife's sick. <laughs> she's not sick, she's a drunk. How do you know that? Um, Mike Woodward over at Treasury. There she is. Mrs. Rittenhouse started drinking a couple of years ago when her husband had a series of affairs. You've done two years of research, now do three as a segment right. producer. And then, you know what, I'll quit if they don't give you a weekend anchor shot. Hello, kid. Are you protecting me or just holding me back? Yes. Okay. She says yes, and he says yes, and it's kissy, 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 and congratulations, Jenny. You now have a new stepmother who is two years older than you. Ooh. I'm sorry about this. We'll get over it. I love you. I love you, too. Came to Washington with him. I moved here because I was dedicated to his career. Is this the drunk wife? Mm -hmm. I'm assuming, but I don't know. But because I was hired from outside the government pool, I don't get conveyed to the next secretary, so now I'm out of job. Because he couldn't keep his hands off women. Oh no, it seems like he's like assistant or something. Do you have a name? This is what I get for talking to the press. I'm selling my soul right now. I name a name and get someone into trouble. So you do have a name? Ellie. I think the president knows about it too. This really took a detour from I know. The beginning. So like, it definitely wasn't 11 hours or 11 days, no. right? The comet was coming? Well, I guess I'm just assuming it was a comet, right? Like it had to have been. This makes you want to watch Renaud's secretary all over again. Her and her husband, freaking cutest relationship they ever. Are goals. Well, I'm sick, she's not here. So listen, do you know where you're going? She's going back to the house. Hey, you want to stop that? If we could just get a minute of your time. What do you want from me? Well, we'd like to talk about your resignation. My wife is sick. Or we could just talk about Ellie. Oh man, it's in a day where you really can't be sneaky about the camera though. Seriously. And send the daughter back into yeah. the house, please. If you want to talk to me, turn it off. We know everything. Nobody knows everything. Secret phone lines and the whispered calls to the president. And you're just gonna break it. Well, that's what we do for a living. Congratulations. You now have the biggest story in history. I think it's a mistake to run the story, but hey, what the hell? What difference does anything make anymore? I feel like she's missing something. Yeah, I do too. I know you're just a reporter, but you used to be a person, right? Ouch. I wanted to be with my family. Can you understand that? Ugh. That's gotta be really tricky. I know. Being a reporter. Because like, you want to be good at your job, you want the truth to come out, but... And the president flies in my yacht. <gasps> oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. Is this like Secret Service? I. Whoa! Oh my. FBI, you were the police man? Oh my gosh, okay. Can they do that? Just. I guess the FBI they can. probably can't fight them, yeah. People knew about the Manhattan Project, you know, and they kept it a secret. That was just the creation of the atom bomb. <laughs> Ooh. That's not the president, is I don't it? Think so? Chris, I feel like she would, be, she would have been like, thank you, Mr. President, or something. But this might be... Morgan Freeman? Wow. What a cast in this movie. Mr. President, I'm not interested in using Ellie to further my career. What do you know about Ellie? I know you should have picked a better cover story than a sick wife. What did I tell you? We'd always thought the deadline for going public was the publication of the budget. We spent more money than we can hide. It's about the comment. What if we go public in 48 hours? Now that's doable, isn't it? If she knows, how long can it be before CNN or The Post breaks the story? And sure. That's like, you know. The drink. Yeah, the, the protein drink. For it might seem that we have each other over the same barrel, Miss Lerner, but it just seems that way. That internet. I know, I was just thinking that. I'm like, I almost miss it. I know. Paleontology. What does paleontology have to do with anything? Extinction level event. 
Who's <gasps> working late? Yep. Want to come to dinner with us? I can't. I can't. I got. I have plans. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Is that the wife and everybody loves Raymond? Sorry, I can't stop in this movie. And he's <laughs> trying to guess all the actors and actresses. Hey, Chloe. Would you like some champagne, Miss? Martini. I missed you. I mean, we missed you yesterday. This is from us for you. Jenny, I know this is hard. I just want you to be happy. I would like to propose a toast to happiness and to... Jenny, I know that you hate me. You have to get over it. Life, life goes on. Life goes on, okay. <laughs> Maybe give her some time. Yeah. You need to get back together with mom. Because she's all alone in the world and she needs you right now, okay? Oh boy. I know you think I'm a bad person. I'm really not. And I gotta go. You're just like, you're probably like trying not to spiral, oh, but yeah. also you're like, oh, um, yeah. did I just. Can you imagine, like, oh, and she doesn't know when or how or. Yeah. Well, what what are you uh, doing here? Do we send you here without telling me? Right this way. I've got you right down here. You'll find you for the first question, then you're on your own. That's hard because I feel like that girl's her mentor, but she probably can't tell her either. Yeah. And... The president will begin what do you think her by question's going to be? I don't know. I've been trying to, like, hold your questions. how long do we have? Yeah. Does she want to just out him right away? Well, he's probably going to make the statement, right? Right, right. But it's, yeah, it's like, do you, is she going to let him do it or? Yeah. Or yeah, is he going to beat her on the bush? <gasps> oh, I don't know. man. Morgan Freeman for president. Oh, amen to that. <laughs> Good evening. A few minutes ago, the United States ambassador told the leaders of those nations what I am about to tell you. So it will take some time, so I hope you will bear with me. A little over a year ago, two American astronomers, Marcus Wolf, Leo Biedemann, working on a mountaintop. At, at least they got credit. Yeah. Shh. Nobody's saying anything. Saw something in the sky that caused them great concern. Comet. There was a remote possibility that the comet was on a path that could bring it into direct contact with the Earth. But the comet we discovered is the size of New York City, from the north side of Central Park to the Battery, about seven miles long. This comet is larger than Mount Everest. Comets began far out in space. There was left over from the creation of the solar system. But every now and then, one of them gets bumped. This comet continues on its path around the sun sometime on August 16th, roughly a year from now. There's a chance that we might have impact. A year. The United States and Russia have been building the largest spaceship, the Messiah. In two months, they will leave on the shuttle Atlantis to board the Messiah. This is the crew that will stop the comet. Like, a s like they have to die to stop the comet? I don't know. Be honored, sir. Pilot Andrea Baker, medical officer Gus Partenza. Happy. From Russia, yeah. nuclear specialist Colonel Mikhail Tulchinsky and rendezvous pilot Spurgeon Tanner. <gasps> Robert Duvall. Godspeed to you all. Okay, so they don't have to die. Thank you. Does anyone know how big the one was that killed all the dinosaurs? Something majestic, mysterious. It's crazy because my first thought would be we're gonna die in a year, I need to get ready. But the news people are just like, <gasps> get <stories>. graphics. <laughs> I know. Now I'll take a few questions. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what do you ask? Uh, I know. Uh, Jenny Lerner at MSNBC. Why wasn't this announcement made sooner? Well, until we knew we could build the rocket, we saw no reason to alarm the planet. Do you have another question, Ms. Lerner? That not everyone in your administration is convinced that the Messiah will save us? He did say she's going to be with my family. Secretary Rittenhouse served his country with full devotion. He resigned for personal reasons. At some point over the next 10 months, all of us will entertain our worst fears and concerns. But I can also promise you this, life will go on. I have like, I feel like I'm on the edge of my seat, like. So we named it for them, Wolf Biedemann. It's Leo Biedemann. <laughs> I said it again. <laughs> Janie, get the door. It's seemed like the press. There's someone at the door for you, Leo. I can't believe this. This is so weird. Anybody on our block discovered the world is going to end before. <laughs> Don't be on our block. Dr. So Wolf saw the comet in my photograph, <laughs> so he shared the discovery with me. And then he was killed in that crash, and everything got mixed up in Washington, so the president thought I was dead, too. They probably didn't think he was a kid. Yeah. How does it feel having your name on it? I don't want anyone to think that I'm trying to take something away from Dr. Wolf, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> you know, you're going to have sex a lot more now than anyone else in the High school. <laughs> That's Logan from Veronica Mall. That's what I was just thinking. 
it's gonna, when the sun hits the surface, it's gonna be explosive outgassing. He's seven. Brittany. You boys were what, four and six when I went to the moon? Now you saw me going to space seven times, didn't you? Eh? I came back every time, didn't I? If there was a chance I might not be coming back, she wouldn't say it and I wouldn't say it. What do you think of the crew? Heroes all off the record. And, well, they've been trained in ways I'll never understand. So they're going soon? I think so. But this mission ain't going to the moon. Frank Gibbard, he was a great football player in his time. If he played now, he'd get his ass busted. Aww. Right. Oh. I woke up this morning and I realized none of you want me here. You haven't trained for this mission. We respect you. But you're here because the powers that be think we need a familiar face on this trip. I'm here because the powers that be know that I'm the only person on this mission who's ever landed on the moon. We've trained on... Oh, on flights. Yeah. Yeah. Something called experience. Seriously. Primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. Ten. Nine. Flight will go eight, for auto signals. Oh. Seven. Seven. crew enters the Messiah, will find a payload of eight nuclear devices that will eventually be used to blow up the comet. Okay, did they say if the comet did hit, like, it would be Earth-destroying, right? I think they didn't say it, but right. it's, it's not like It was like 500 just billion be... tons or something, right? Like, yeah, it wouldn't just be like, you know, the U.S. or just Russia. No, or it wouldn't be catastrophic for the world. <laughs> Extinction-level event. That's crazy, because now I hope they're realizing this is all like their first actual mission. Right. And he's done it so many damn Five times. Five months later. Stuart, what about me? You're on the anchor, Dad. And you could have been there a lot sooner. Don't ever hold back a story from me again. The president asked her to do what he's supposed to Right? Jesus, that's big. imagine me like on this kind of mission <laughs> just the world you know depending on you it's yeah. fine okay so if they told you it would be so hard because say they said okay in a year i would want to go see europe go like to mm. I, do you know what I mean? I would yeah, just want to like do everything with my family and mm -hmm. but then you have to have faith and hope that this is gonna work right. So then I think I'd I think I'd kind of end up just like wanting to live like my daily life really you know yeah And obviously like, you think you just appreciate a thing a little bit more yeah and like a different perspective but you wouldn't want to do your bucket lists Some things but I feel like you should always doing some things from your bucket list. Yeah, but I just mean like yeah. yeah, would you I go to your job? Would you like like Rittenhouse? Yeah. He quit and he's gonna go with his daughter on a boat for a year because I think he thinks this isn't gonna work, mm -hmm. right? Sometime in the next hour, the Messiah mission will enter its most critical phase, setting of the nuclear devices that will deflect it off its collision course with Earth. Lights on. Hopefully they've bonded. Yeah, it's a crew. On. The river in Mark Twain's time, there were riverboat pilots who only knew a few miles of the river. It was all a riverboat mm. pilot could do was to know his little piece the puzzle. We start our approach. Let's go. They're unsure whether or not transmission will be possible. Okay, we've we've lost picture now, but we will stay on the air, stay with you through all of this. I like keep getting like, oh Me my too. gosh, I feel like I'm watching the news broadcast. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh my god, the size of houses. Oh, yeah, I know. No. What was that? Did it just go dark in there or? Oh my gosh. But like look the how... comet's still like moving and now yeah. he did it. Why is he the most tender old man in the I world? I know. You just love him. Why do they have to do it before sunrise? Because then it faces the sun, I feel like it'd burn him up, right? If it's like oh. in the orbit. Could you imagine leaving your safe little ship to... Carry nuclear devices onto a moving comet? Yeah. Hurtling towards Earth? No. <laughs> I have zero desire for space, ever. Like, yeah. beyond zero. The astronauts should now be placing the moles on the comet's surface. They are drilling machines that burrow to a depth of 100 meters. Each one carries a 5,000 kiloton warhead. This is going too well. I know. Well, they have, what, seven, though? Oh, yeah. It's taking too long. Oh, so we don't know how many they've done, right? Because the right. comet will cause the temperature to rise 
Well, if that happens, it will be like trying to work in a minefield. It's stuck. What you get? 75 feet. No, that'll just break pieces off the surface. I'm going in. Or no. No, I'm going to see if I can free it up. Don't He's watch. You're too claustrophobic. He's going into the drill hole? Yep. How's my time? Another six minutes, they won't have time to get back to us. Holy crap. Blow the tether. Let's go get him. We may not have enough fuel to get off the surface. So they're going to them then? Pole got jammed against the side. Can his suit even work down there? Come on. Holy crap. Yeah. Come on. I think we better hurry, boys. Alright, it's going, it's going. Get up. Go, go, go. Seconds? Yeah, I think so. The minefield. Get your visor down! Oh my gosh. Alright, we got it. Oh my gosh. But also they're like literally saving the world. <gasps> Was that someone? Uh-huh. <gasps> oh god, we're losing one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just Grab him. One of them can't see, right? Or is that the guy that got blasted? I don't know. <gasps> okay, now he's got to fly through a minefield. All moles are at depth. Luke's hot and ready. We lost potential to explosive outgassing. Monash is injured. <gasps> I can't remember who's who. We have to go get gas. I don't have time to argue with you. Just sit down, quiet. If we go back for gas, we all die. We can't just leave him in space. But it's hard. It's so you like see both sides. Gus Partenza, a oh, native of Harrisburg, happy. Pennsylvania. Oh. I think Gus was the medic. The Messiah has successfully docked with the Orion powered boosters. Now prepared to detonate the bombs planted on Wolf Biederman. When the picture comes back to us, the comet should already have been knocked off its present course. The weapons armed. Do we actually gonna leave them? I don't know. Seriously. Oh my gosh. You didn't get knocked off course? Or what? I don't know. Oh boy. We're lined in ten seconds. My heart is beating so Hello, fast. I know. It is my unhappy duty to report to you that the Messiah has failed. <gasps> this computer-enhanced radar image from Houston shows how the detonation succeeded, however, did not destroy the comet. There are now two pieces. Both are still on the path towards Earth. <gasps> we don't know how many are alive. We don't know their condition. Now we have to make some decisions. What do we do? Oh, we I have a choice. choice. We have a choice. If we can deflect these comets enough, they will bounce harmlessly off our atmosphere, head on out into space. Unfortunately, Titans cannot be launched until the comets are only a few hours away. Holy crap. It is only prudent that we now take cautionary steps to ensure the continuation of our way of life. There will be enough of us left to rebuild a new world. In the soft limestone of Missouri, we've been preparing a network of immense caves. And we can put a million people in them. Enough to start over. Oh my gosh. On August 10th, a computer will randomly select 800,000 Americans. <gasps> Other countries are preparing similar caves. I am declaring a state of martial law. Oh my gosh. I wish... No. A million... That's it, a million people. Wishing is wrong. That's the wrong word right now. That's not what I mean. What I mean is, I believe in God. Okay. I know a lot of you don't, but I still want to offer a prayer. Because I believe that God, whomever you hold that to be, he is all prayers. May the Lord lift up his divine countenance upon you and give you peace. What if you were selected but your family wasn't? Yeah, I don't know. Oh my oh. gosh. 
While some Americans over 50 years of age have been pre-selected due to their expertise in a necessary field of study, no men and women over 50 in the general population will be included in the lottery. Oh my gosh. I have... Yeah, me too. Equipment list Next few minutes you'll be notified. Yes, this is Ellen Biederman. We've been pre-selected. So if we fire it up, we beat the comet back to Earth. We may end up glowing in the dark. <laughs> so, uh, anybody? Let's go home. People need continuity. Everyone knows you. Can't help you. Don't worry about me. I'm going to be happy as long as I know you're going to live. Where were you today? I've been looking all over for you. Why weren't you at school? My dad said I didn't have to go. He said there's no point. Oh, <gasps> Frodo. <gasps> they said if you and I got married, we'd be family and I could get you in. I don't want to go without my parents. I'm the famous Leo Biederman, and I haven't used my fame for anything, but I got them to let your family go too. This is your only chance to survive. Child, I reasoned like a child. Oh my god, oh, you're so little. <laughs> oh my no goodness. Face. But all these people could still survive. Yeah. The the other missiles could work. Yeah. Is he blind? Probably. Yeah. You got a deal, already you know that. Don't worry about me. My whole life, I, you know, just for guys like us. You and, you and I, we're, we're the same. Gotta be the best. Oh, I see. Sometimes I see uh, flashes of light, colors, and I dream. But there's a part of me that's always awake. I can see myself dreaming. I'm just, I'm seeing things differently, fish. Why the hell do they call you fish? <laughs> took about 15 minutes of my first day at the Naval Academy. The kids go there? Yeah, they did. I don't see as much of them as uh, I used to when Mary was alive. You're a married man, you know what it's like. I mean, every marriage has its good years and its bad years. We ended on a great year. Moby Dick, chapter one. <laughs> Call me a <laughs> child. Several years ago, never mind how long precisely. It's really tender. Do you think they've had contact again with Houston? Well, didn't they say that they could just track them? Oh, right, yeah. they like lost visual, but they could just track them. I don't know if that's changed, but I get nervous that if they're coming in right before I the know. meteorite, the, will the missiles think that they're something? Peterman! Yeah, that's yeah. us. IDs, please. Sheesh. This is my wife, Sarah. We have a marriage license. All right, let's go. Let's move it out. Wait, my parents are coming too. Uh, are coming too. Oh, no. no. It's not here. No, no, no. It has to be there. Give me your bag. They must be there. Ellen, give me your bag, sweet. They Let's go, we have sir, to go. Sir, sir. You understand. Leo, I put them on the list. We're not on the list. No, no, no. no. Yes, I need to sir, start with you. Oh my gosh. She didn't get on. If it goes to dad, I'd like make her get on the bus. I know, I don't, I don't know. This is she. It's Robin Lerner, my mother. When? Think she committed suicide? Uh, 61. I'll come down there then. Thank you. But there was a chance. She was only 61. You're too late. I already took care of everything. Come, come, means out the car. You're getting sick. I don't give a sh Go home and tell it to Chloe. I can. She left me. How does it feel? I feel like an orphan. Caves? Yes, yeah. so arcs. They weren't kidding. They literally know it's arcs. Oh. Leo, I'm not coming. I have to go back for Sarah. Don, what are you doing? I'm giving you something to trade. That's what I'm doing. Oh my god. Then that's enough. Just take care of yourself. Oh. What? I don't think I would do it. I don't think I could let him go. I can't stay long. I'm leaving the city, but I wanted to show you something. I wanted to show you that you are not an orphan. Where's mom? Behind the camera. She took this? Mm-hmm. Of course she would have been in the picture. There was no one else to hold the camera. 
keep them. When do they go to Missouri? It's gotta be soon, right? Five days? Yeah, they'll probably be the last ones in. I don't know. Where are Mr. President? Our missiles have failed. Oh! <gasps> Comets still headed for Earth, and there's nothing we can do to stop them. If the world does go on, it will not go on for everyone. And we have determined where they're going to strike. The smaller of the two comets, Peterman will hit first. Somewhere along the Atlantic seaboard, probably in the waters off the coast of Cape Hatteras. Just under 12 hours at 4.35 p.m. The impact of the comet is going to be, well, disastrous. There will be a very large tidal wave moving quickly through the Atlantic Ocean. The wave will hit our nation's capital 40 minutes after impact. New York City, Boston, Atlanta, Philadelphia, all will be destroyed. Oh my gosh. The impact of the larger comet will be nothing less than an extinction level event. It will strike land in Western Canada. Within a week, the skies will be dark with dust from the impact and they will stay dark for two years. All plant life will be dead within four weeks. Animal life within a few months. Oh? Good luck to us all. Western Canada. The world. The world. All plant life. I think so. All. Oh my gosh. If we can get the remaining bombs in that vent, there shouldn't be anything left of that comet bigger than a suitcase. You know, it just might give them a chance. How are we supposed to get back off the surface once we've uh, gone down there? We don't. We don't. Hey, look at the bright side. We'll all have high schools named after us. Oh my gosh. This is our side. You need to call, Mr. Huh? Just beginning to wonder what the hell you were doing up there. There's nothing we can do about the smaller one, but we do have a plan. The army coach, get the code. I always thought it was women and children first. Get the short one, you can give up your seat. Well, that makes sense. Long, oh, isn't it? Oh, shoot. Wait, someone's got a newscast that they have a plan. Sarah! But the little one will still destroy like all of the East Coast. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The road was so crowded, it was obvious we weren't gonna make it, but it was the wave does come that we should be here because she likes it here. Can you say goodbye to Duke? What are you doing? Come on! What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. You're taking my seat! You have to go now. Oh, I want you baby. to take the baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mom. Mom. This hurts. I love you. I love you. I always loved you. Oh, this hurts. <laughs> When I was 11, I took $32 from your wallet. When you were a baby, I once dropped you on your head. <laughs> and you came to the studio and, and you brought those pictures. I lied when I said I didn't remember. I remember everything. It was a perfect, happy day. I've missed you since then. Holy crap, that's going fast. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. That's bad. That's really bad. Daddy. I thought something was gonna happen. I thought... I 
Is he, are they trying to get to back to Missouri right now? I, or just far enough away? I don't know. Oh boy. Are our families there yet? They're on their way, Messiah. Oh shoot. And they haven't like told the world that they're doing this yet. People here that want to talk to you. Oh. You keep doing your uh, your church thing, and I'll be there. You better come back and haunt me. There's mommy. There's mommy. <gasps> They just blew all the nukes. They didn't have to plant or anything. They saved the world. Come on, come on, come on. The lice and rock that burned harmlessly in our atmosphere and lit up the sky for an hour. Still, we were left with the devastation of the first. The waters reached as far inland as the Ohio and Tennessee valleys. The water receded. The wave hit Europe and Africa too. Millions were lost. Countless more left homeless, but the waters receded. Cities fall, but they are rebuilt. And heroes die, but they are remembered. We honor them with every brick we lay. He's so good at this. Yeah. And then teach to rejoice in what we have been re-given, our planet, our home. So now, let us begin. Cast, let's watch a natural disaster <gasps> movie <laughs> all week. Oh my gosh, there were so many moments of that where you just like heart just yeah dies a little. Yeah, they did such a good job of making me feel like I was part of that world. Like you're right, and that's wow. I think like why that is so impactful because obviously you're picturing what you would do how you would mm -hmm. feel what you would want yeah you oh. really like sit on those ones and like yeah kind of put yourself in that yeah position and it sure. and like watching something like that makes you like kind of reevaluate oh, totally. things that, yeah, you know totally. what i mean yeah you, it sits with you and you're like yeah. okay i'm like okay we need more food storage yes. <laughs> Oh. Dirt bike. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm like, why do we spend so much millions and millions and billions of dollars on space, like, mm. stuff? And I think that's probably why. Yeah. Because, <laughs> oh my gosh, Watch there were so many us. famous people in that. Yes. And everyone was so good. It was a great cast. Yeah. Great and I liked cast. how we got, like, little stories. Like, we got the newscaster and we got yes. the space mission and uh -huh. we got and him. these families and I like know. Leo and this I know. tender little wedding. Oh I can't believe they gave her the baby. That, oh that my gosh. Correct to me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Or when Madame Secretary grabs the baby and it puts her back oh, in Oh I know. Whoa. I know. That was it was emotional. It was intense. Yeah. And that was a good one. That was. It was a really good one. Oh okay. Well, well Volcano is next. <laughs> Dante's Peak, the volcano natural disaster. Thanks for watching with us. Maybe thanks for crying with us. Yeah, that was intense. Okay, love you all. God bless you. Godspeed. Bye.